<sighs> Sorry, I'm just like taking a deep breath right before I did this, which I probably should have done before I started. But <laughs> anyways, this, that is the Pacific Ocean. I'm somewhere between Port Orford and Brookings. Budget he has. Okay. Love and light, people. It's still rough out there. I'm learning every day. I'm the student, and I'm trying to pass on what I know. But I'm. It's almost like I'm getting info, and I'm like, here, relay, passing on to you. There's different levels of the Dark Knight. Right now, there's the Great Awakening, right, and it's been happening for a while. And it's just full speed ahead. <laughs> this, here's the thing. It, there's so many different levels. There's so many different levels to this. Whatever this is, right? But the, the Dark Hearts triggered it hard when they did COVID. When they, when, they, when they released that shit, they triggered the Great Awakening like nobody believes. They locked down everything. And I, I tell people, you give people a computer in their hand and you scare the shit out of them and they're going to want to know what the hell is going on. So they're going to be tapping into stuff they never thought of before. You know what I mean? They're going to be tarot readers. There's going to be all kinds of weird shit that they're going to be tapping into. Spirituality. They're going to be finding themselves. They're going to be realizing. They're going to understand what uh, toxic relationships are. Um, ancestral curses are. You know, childhood trauma that you carry around like some black goo inside you. I'm not even kidding. These are things that you're going to find out. There's, and, the, and the reason why I'm bringing up this is some guy, I don't know, he looks back. He's out of the license plates. You know what I mean? I saw somebody from New Jersey, um, South Carolina just now. Um, great awakening. People are in their vehicles, moving around, trying to figure themselves out. And I want you to understand that you're not alone. If you're watching this and you're in the beginning stages of this, like I said, I when a couple months, it might be a maybe three months into my journey I was in Sedona and at this um, serenity campground it was more it was a Avalon camp anyways it was just really they were doing construction I paid 30 bucks you know for a fire pit and a porta potty which was just, but anyway this poor girl showed up late and tried to do her tent and could it was frustrated so she just grabbed it through in her trunk and slept in her car, and I felt bad about that. But you can tell she just started. I mean, it's it hits for everybody. It hits differently. But the main thing you have to understand is you have to be alone. That's the hard part. Is that people don't know why they're alone. There's this kid right here, right? He was digging underneath his tires. I don't know if he's trying to let him out of his vehicle or something because it's just cute. So I'm like, you know, that's a little bit much for me. That's that to me smacked of um, being a little uptight. Let's just face it. If you're worried, I mean, right now my vehicle isn't level, but it's pretty fucking level. I'm not going to sit there and get a leveler on the top of my vehicle and make sure and start digging underneath my car. You know, that smacks up just a little bit too upset, you know, OCD kind of for me, right? And that's important to get rid of that. You can't, trust me, and it kills you. When you're, when you're, when you're out in the wilds, if you're OCD and you're germaphobic and you're out in the wilds having to live in your vehicle and you can't, you might not bathe for a couple days. I bathed this morning, thank God. It was going on day three, but I've gone, you know, day seven and it's just not right. There's like no, nobody should go day seven without bathing. Just gonna throw that out there. So that, bathing is important and they need to work on the, this, the, they need to work on facilities that people can traveling can bathe and shower at. I'm not even kidding. I mean, their truck stops amazing, but on the coast, it's just, it's just barren. I had to go to an RV park, and I'm gonna Google them later and give them a great review. But yeah, that was five bucks. That was nothing, just to take a shower. And they had bathtubs. Oh, I'm reviewing that one. Anyway, this is for the people going through the dark heart. I mean, the, the dark, the dark night of the soul at the beginning. Like you said, when you're just jumping in your vehicle, grabbing all your shit, and you're just heading for the hills, or just getting going, going to the ocean, getting away from all your family. Because most of your family are toxic, you know, a lot of them are just karmics. There are people that are in your life to teach you a lesson. And if they're not going to learn, even they can learn. It's just a matter of everybody's, it's almost like karma. It's like the Buddha. Everybody's at a different level of ascension. Everybody's at different levels of, you know, enlightenment. And unfortunately, if you're watching this, you're at a good level. 
if you're not watching and the people around you probably not at that level yet right they might have to go back and be a slug or some shit you know what i mean who knows i don't know what the karmic wheel looks like i'm just a student learning but i just want you to know you're loved i love you be strong eat what you can be healthy don't drink alcohol don't be down on yourself don't beat yourself up for the situation you're in if you're poor and you're dirty and stuff just try to you know find the love find the light find grace love yourself and don't beat yourself up it's gonna get better it's not gonna be like this forever it's not I promise it's gonna get better you just gotta believe you just gotta fight you gotta love yourself it's the main thing love yourself because I love you and God loves you and the universe loves you and that's all I'm gonna say but yeah it's gonna be rough but you're and you gotta be alone for a minute too that's the hardest part is being alone but it's important because that's when you figure it all out you start realizing the toxic fucking people in your life and you start cutting people out. You just get a time to think. Music is great. I still have music. I, I'm high function autistic, so I have to have music. But I, I can go it out, but it just really helps my vibe better when I'm listening to 70s music and stuff. But anyway, <sighs> love and light, people. Find your happy place and fight for it. Because you're worth it and it's worth it. Okay? Have a wonderful day.